Hello, good evening, and welcome to Creepy Cheapies. This week on Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's Affordable Mask Picks, this week I'd like to uh, present a little something from our friends at Ghoulish Productions. Now, Ghoulish Productions masks are made uh, down in Mexico, or Mexico, and uh, they're really excellent quality, they're strong designs, they're very reasonably priced, and uh, for some reason they're not getting a lot of exposure in the United States and that's a deplorable situation so they really deserve more uh, attention so you should write your congressman about it or your senator but please don't bother your local mayor because he's probably already busy uh, because he's on the phone with your local suicide prevention hotline so don't bother him but uh, tonight's mask a little something from the bloody head fairy it's this monstrosity called, I kid you not, Pretty Woman. Okay, disclaimer, I, I don't name them. I don't. This is Pretty Woman. I'm not sure why it's called that. Uh, but it's a very uh, scary, creepy, disturbing looking, bloody, mangled head. Um, leave this on your grandma's pillow and sure enough, she will think she was visited by the bloody head fairy during the night. Now, the empty eye socket here has a piece of uh, the black mesh netting inside so that uh, the wearer's eye will not be visible. Uh, people won't be able to see that you've really got an eye in that uh, skull-looking socket. But very disturbing and creepy mask and sells for the neighborhood of uh, 40 to 50 bucks. Very reasonable, I think, considering uh, the, the quality of the casting, the paint, and even, uh, even the hair that's on here. It's a pretty full head of hair. It's a, it's a generous enough amount of hair to look realistic, let's say that. And I don't know if you can tell on your monitor, but the paint is pretty nice, the detail is pretty nice on that eye especially. It's a very realistic and creepy looking glossy eye that she has on her, well you can't say good side because neither side is much good really. I don't know what happened to this uh, chick, but she'd make an excellent victim at any haunted house or Halloween event. And this is one of those masks that I like to recommend as sort of having a uh, sort of a potential dual purpose, meaning if you don't want to wear it or have someone uh, wear it for Halloween or uh, wear it to scare people at your haunted house, it's a great prop because if you just toss it on uh, the tabletop or the ground or whatever and let it be a severed head, it works as a great prop severed head. This could be uh, used in a scene where, uh, you know, werewolves or zombies or some kind of monsters have just had their lunch and she was it uh, you know good severed head now of course uh, these are these are uh, slightly different uh, from mask to mask because they are hand finished I can avoid dropping her on the floor this evening uh, they are hand finished so the trickles of blood are not going to be exactly like this one on uh, one that you ordered but um, similar pretty close pretty close uh, blood trickle effect and unfortunately not one of the more common Ghoulish Productions masks. Uh, didn't get picked up by any of the major retailers in the U.S. Uh, as far as I know, uh, yet anyway. So uh, you may need to look online, check the mask dealers you know of, uh, look for, uh, do a search for uh, Pretty Woman Zombie Mask, or just Pretty Woman Mask, because that's what they're calling it. Alright, that's all I have for this week. So, happy haunting. Thanks for watching and get yourself a pretty woman.